Thursday. Should have done my preview yesterday, but um, so Redskins coming up Monday. There's not enough I can say about this game. Um, it's we gotta win, like plain and simple. We gotta win. We gotta sweep the Redskins. Um, I'm just tired of them. You know, um, they they've been sweeping us. The last couple years with Kirk Cousins and um, it's time to win. Um, we gotta distance ourselves in the division. <clears throat> We're five and one. The next team is three and two, and then two and three, and then one and five. Um, so if we can win this game, they don't have Josh Norman, Rashad Breeland, and Jonathan Allen's out. Um, I'm watching it on the phone network right now. Good morning, football. And um, offensively, this is one that we should take over. Um, I'm really expecting our wide receivers um, and our tight ends to to fucking manhandle the Redskins. Um, first game, we didn't, we weren't really even clicking, and um, we went 30 to 17. Now we're starting to click. We're starting to roll. Starting to all get on the same page, and uh, this might be a game where Alshon Jeffrey completely takes over. Um, excuse me. Their top two cornerbacks are out. One of their linemen is out. So Carson should have time to throw. They might be blitzing more, so I feel like this is a game we should win. Um, at home, they're shorthanded. We're, we're not... We're a little shorthanded. Um, we're still missing Darby. Hick should be healthy. Smallwood should be back. Lane is back. And, um, yeah, Darby and Jones, that's really all we're missing besides, you know, losing Sproles or Maragos. Um, it's a game we should win. This is, um, uh, there's nothing else for me to say. Um, I'm expecting us to score a lot of points. Um, and we will be able to run the ball on them. Um, and I just feel like this is a blowout game. It should be. It should be. But, you know, division games are always difficult to tell. So, I'm expecting Alshon to go off, though. Um, Alshon, Ertz, and Aggie should be going off. Tori may get, like, a long pass in here and there. But Alshon, Ertz, and Aggie are the top three weapons on this team. And I'm expecting them to have big games, um, especially Ertz. Like, he's a monster. His first double touchdown game last week. Um, that's what I like to see. For my number one tight end that we're paying all this money, that's what I like to see. All right? And um, Aggie, whew. Now I'm expecting him to make plays. That's That's a new feeling. That's a new feeling. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I expect our D-line to eat. Um, Cox is back, and he's fully healthy. He should be fully healthy. Um, I'm expecting our D-line to really take over this game. Um, if they thought it was bad the first game, they should just wait now because we have our corners playing pretty well. Um, they're gelling. They're learning. They're growing and developing. And that's all you can really ask for from young corners. Um Especially with the D-line eating like it is. Like, they don't have to do all the work. So, I'm expecting us to um, be completely efficient on third down. Like, Cardinals game type. That's how I'm expecting us to play the Redskins. Because their defense is really lacking right now. We need to take over. So, bold predictions. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say... Um, Carson Wentz throws for 300 yards. Is that really bold now? <laughs> Do we expect that from him now? Um, you know what's, what's, what's really going to be bold is he throws for uh, five touchdowns. Not three, not four, but five. Five touchdowns. Um, 350 yards. And um, I'm going to say he, he rushes for about... 30, 40 yards. Um, 
12 touchdowns, 350 rushes for 40 yards. So, um, I'm expecting Alshon to have like 150 yards. Um, that, that'll be my bold prediction for Alshon. Nine receptions, 150 yards, and two touchdowns. Um, Zach Ertz expecting 100 yards, eight receptions, 100 yards, and a touchdown. Um, and Aggie is going to get a 50 plus yard touchdown this week. Um, it's it's going to be a good game offensively, uh, and I can't wait. I can't wait for this game. Monday Night Football, prime time again. Eagles at home. We handled the Panthers on the road on a short week. This is a game we should win. We need to win. We gotta win. We gotta go six and one. Um, defensively, I'm gonna say we sack. Now, we we he doesn't really get sacked that often because he gets that ball out. But I'm saying this week, Kirk Cousins is getting sacked six times. No prediction. Book it. Six times, two picks, one by Hicks, and the other. By Robinson. Okay. And uh, my scoring prediction will be Eagles 38, Redskins 17. We're getting out.